Hey everybody, welcome back to Wasteland 3. Uh, we're in the bazaar. The main goal here, I think, is to try to find uh, Flab. <laughs> Flab, the leader Flab, and uh, just explore the area. So we talked to the sanctified Piscatelli over here. That was kind of cool, but now we're just going to go and check things out. We got uh, this little cafe bar in this area, but we got something I suggest unique you speak over to here. Flab. Hot noodles! Hot noodles interrupting my flab. Maybe okay. Let's go look oh, for flab first. Ugh, why? It tastes like boiled tree bark. They said he was in the back. Oh, here's the doctor. Let's actually talk to the doctor. Why hello? Name's Hirsch. Love Hirsch. But you can just call me Doctor Cold Cuts. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> doctor Cold Cuts. That's funny because of sandwiches. Um, so the reason we want to talk to the doctor is to try and heal some of our issues. Can you patch us up? Yeah, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. <laughs> Cash first and I'll fix you right up. Now, does this count as actually um, healing our injuries? Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt out. a bit. Promise. Why is your name Cold Cuts? Oh, it used to be the veterinarian slash butcher here back in the day. Learned all about how the body works by carving up meat. <laughs> uh, animal meat, uh, of course. When Doc Kessler passed, well, I uh, inherited the position. I regret not asking him that before healing us. Uh, what can you tell us about the bazaar? Uh, not much. Got all kinds of traders here selling all sorts of junk. <laughs> the heart of this place is meat, though. The pig meat is a luxury not everyone can afford. Is that right? Anyway, got a bit of a pickle of late. Something murderous roaming the Warrens. Some say it's the old monster army leader. The Cyclops come back from the dead and hunting us. Bunch of BS if you ask me, but something's down there. Talk to Flab if you haven't already. Uh, do you sell any medical supplies? Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. I would like to buy some uh, like field healing. Yeah, these things, these medic packs and maybe some hypos. Some antidotes wouldn't be bad. Uh, we have the cash, so we should actually buy a bunch of these things. Let's buy... Buy, like, 15 of these. And we're... How many of these do we have right now? 15? I'm just gonna clean them out. And then injury kits. We've got three. Let's take us up to a solid even 10. The nitro spikes. Incapacitated party members don't need to stay down. All they need is a spike. Revive all incapacitated squad members. Uh, yeah, let's grab a couple of these. Starting to go through our cash here pretty quick. What's crystal clear? Used to remove the effects of drug withdrawal. Ooh. Remove any current negative effects. So this could get rid of like the hangovers and stuff. This isn't bad. But we're spending a lot of cash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ditch this in case we find like really bad ones. First aid station requires seven first aid. We actually saw an enemy deploy this. That's super cool. That is super cool. But we don't have seven first aid for one thing. Um, what is our first aid at? Let's check. We should actually sell our junk ah, too. You again? What is it? Ah, the self medication. We may have already source. done this. Sure, take a yeah, look. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sell junk. You can't afford this. Ah, that's how I feel sometimes, you know. So we only have the bonuses, which is good. Uh, we have fried, sorry, and we have the, the Bob and Robin, but our injuries are clear. Very nice. Okay, let's go and uh, find Flab. Win Talbot. This maybe we can, maybe we can change our outfit here. If we can find like a changing room, but... Flab the Inhaler. Look at the floor. <laughs> it's like an old, like, uh, it's like a preschool or something. Monster Army Blaster, Lieutenant. Do we have anything back here? Not that the bazaar is not perfect. A plane. Based on the playground equipment and the bright colors, you're pretty sure this room used to be a nursery. Yes. Nursery was also close. Wow, Flab the Inhaler. I hope we get a close-in zoom view here. Ah, Not getting it. The oh, it talks what like a... <laughs> wonderful music they make. I love it. What do you want of Jakob the Magnificent? This wonderful, wonderful... Ah, 
Oh, his fangs fell out or what? Corpulent man standing before he spits out a set of fake Dracula teeth and wipes his mouth. Yeah. Let's never mind with the acts, shall we? Rangers, I am so sorry you had to witness that horrible exploding pig. Truth is, you do not find us at the best of times. Wow, we barely noticed. What's with the Dracula act? Do not judge harshly, my friends. We hold on to our rituals of the past to try to remember our long lost strength. It may strike you as pathetic, but it gives us much needed comfort. And how can you be so calm about exploding pigs? I am calm because I must be, friend. So is the burden of leadership. But you are right. This place is under assault. Maybe we can help? Something, someone, some horrible unknown thing is roaming the warrens below us. People have been disappearing. Not to mention the pigs loaded with explosives running amok. Look at his, like he, his shirt is like barely holding on there. And I feel like his breath is barely holding on. Also, he's got, is he sleeping in here? Weird. You are the Ooh. Patriarch's Rangers, yes. If he trusts you, so can I. Nothing six, we've six, six. done has helped. So your arrival could not be more fortuitous. We need your help to combat this threat. Uh, yeah, how long has this been happening? Um, it's been two weeks, uh, maybe three. Not long at all. At first, we thought it might have been the fanciful imaginings of the <laughs> chemically influenced, but then a pig appeared out of nowhere, outside the bazaar, ran into a party of mashers, and exploded. Quite distressing. People have been disappearing ever since, and more pigs keep appearing. I need my mashers to keep the place safe. We need outside help. Your help. Okay, we can probably do this. Uh, we'll go down and find out who's behind this. Assuming, assuming we're paid when we're done. <laughs> Spoken like a true citizen of the world. I suspect we shall be good friends, Rangers. Now, bring me news of what has been happening in the dark. If you come back, you shall be rewarded handsomely. Now, when they said below us, do they mean like actually below in terms of underneath? Because these guys are already underneath like the top level of, you know, normal people world. And then if this Warrens is below that, that's even, that's creepy. But I guess, yeah, according the thing that we hovered over on the way in here, I think that did say Warrens, so that would make sense. Hey, uh, okay, we got some serious questions. As serious as a clown. When we were outside, we ran into raiders dressed as clowns. Could that be related to these attacks? Raiders dressed oh. as clowns? Okay. I see everything makes sense now. The makeup on the pigs. The horrible deaths. That explains who is behind these attacks. You know, it hurts to be so efficient. What are you talking about? They are one of the wild gangs that escaped the Patriarch's control. I've not had to deal with them in decades. But last I did, they raided one of our caravans. Didn't even take most of the supplies. They seemed to think it was just a funny joke to kill our men. If it is Los Payasos down there, we truly need your help. They would not hesitate to kill every living thing in my home in the most unspeakable ways. We won't be safe until every last Payaso is dead 
I got news for you, bucko. Uh, let's ask more about him. You ask too much of me, my friends. What is a leader but a servant of the community? My story is the bizarre story. I am nothing but the receptacle of its wishes. How? Yeah, exactly. How did you end up in charge of the bazaar? <laughs> Where do I start? Once I was a humble lieutenant in the monster army. Then the patriarch came to the bazaar. He executed my predecessor and everyone else Jesus. was too stupid to understand that this is the new world order. When he came to me, I did not hesitate. Nor should I you. I swore myself to his service, marrow and muscle. And the patriarch, in his infinite grace, gave me command of the bazaar and all of its lives. Probably isn't very sensitive, but uh, you got any thoughts on the nickname of yours? I appreciate the delicacy. Your compassion will be remembered. But no, I've no thoughts on the nickname they've given to me and no cause to think about it. After all, Flab describes me well, does it not? I mean... <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's, I'm being honest with you. It does. Good. Oh. <laughs> Most would have lied to my face, told me that Flab the Inhaler was a blasphemy against my greatness. <laughs> but you, you have courage. I see a long friendship ahead of us. The truth is that I see this fat as proof of my station in life. Here, in these wastelands, how many have the opportunity to eat and flourish as I have? Uh, we have other questions, and maybe. I would be a bad host if I did not provide you with answers. Can you tell us about the bazaar? A uh, decadent oasis steeped in culinary wonders. The bazaar is Colorado's gastronomic holy land. It is a carnival of wonders. It is paradise. But it was even more splendid once, a long time ago. Ooh, what was it like a long time ago? Primal, a wild place. I was there when the monster army first arrived in the bazaar. We tore the farmers limb from limb, fed them to their pigs. A graceless epoch, but so visceral, so alive. Poetic considering the current pig fiasco. But its savagery had no place under the patriarch's rule. He is a harsh man, but his edge is directed, guided, not like the chaos of old. Any recommendation for things to do here? Be sure to visit Quarex's museum. We've heard that. It is fascinating to see all these relics from the before times, to imagine the riches the ancient Americans enjoyed beyond even the means of the bazaar. Okay, one last thing. Just tell us a good story from the good old days. They weren't the good old days. <laughs> My family still tells stories about the monster army and the horrible things they Yikes. did. Your young friend is right, of course. Those times were most regrettable. And yet, also the most delicious. So, a uh, story? Yeah, uh, ooh, ooh. I want to hear the most audacious story you have. Uh, you have to forgive me. This story is not mine, but Adelaide's. The beautiful madam of Chicks Flicks. Chicks Flicks. <laughs> she just arrived Good. in the bazaar, hungry for a place in our kingdom. The space where her theater stands, it belonged to someone else. 
Avalon, wise in the nature of the world, offered the owner something he could not refuse. The orgy lasted for days. Men, women, animals, anything with a hole or an appendage that could either be sucked or slotted into a dripping orifice. <sighs> we definitely picked the right story. The stains took weeks to clean, but Eidolon Beep. fucked her way to her heart's desire. Ah, uh, a legend, that woman. Oh, we can ask all of them. Yes. Okay, now I need to hear the most bloody. Oh, that Probably the one same one. Easy. <laughs> it was late and so cold that the air cut our lungs to ribbons. We'd heard rumors of a sanctuary, an unguarded place fat with meat and helpless farmers. No military force to speak of. So we came in the night, an army of monsters. We cut their throats in their sleep. One hour, a hundred dead. You should have seen the blood. The night ran red. There was enough to fill a lake. It was beautiful. Savagery refined to an unctuous art. Unctuous. What about your favorite story, Flab? Lay it My on me. Favorite story? Oh. I suppose I cannot blame you for being curious. Let's see. Yes, yes, I suppose I know the one. A wolf man once challenged me for the rule of the bazaar. He decided that I was weak, too soft for the role. So he challenged me to a duel, and I agreed. But that night he died, shitting blood in his bed. They told me he screamed himself wrong. Poor little pup. He should have been more careful with his food. Okay, I like this guy. We have more questions. It will be my delight to answer. Let's discuss something else. With pleasure. Bye. The bizarre will be waiting. Okay, so I thought we maybe had cleared out everybody that he was talking about, but it seems like that's not quite the case. We need to call the clown population. So, uh, there must be more out there that we have to take care of. Happily. Happily. Let's go. Uh, we, I also, we need to find somebody that's going to act as like a caravan or whatever for the refugees. So, we still want to check out everybody before we leave. Um, anybody that seems like they yeah. might be important. I can't believe we missed the sale. I, 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 I love those boots. Where'd you get them? Everyone's just chatting. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, Polly. Christ. How'd you end up with Six Fingered Larry, anyways? You tell Polly something first. <laughs> How did you get so butt ugly that a blind, two legged, flea ridden camel won't even fuck? Yeah. yeah, good one, Polly. I was born this way. Jesus. What's with the temper? You try being surrounded by rotting jizz stains 24-7. <laughs> Watch them try to fuck themselves on their own toenails on a daily basis. <laughs> Get my temper now, shit nugget. On their own toenails? <laughs> I need someone to de be describe that. <laughs> What's your name? According to your mom. Uh, okay, dude. Okay. If this bird ever dies, like I'm going to be simultaneously stoked and sad at the same time. A reek of tobacco and tannin surrounds this wise and dark skinned woman. Without breaking eye contact, she swaps her chewed down cigarette stub for a fresh one and lights it before she speaks. Ah, you look like tough sorts. Patriarch sent you. Whoever you are, we can certainly use your help. Some kind of beastie down in the warrens oh, or something. We're on it, Talk Gwyn. to Flab up the stairs. So you're Talbot. Rather than answer, she takes a long drag of her cigarette. Your question does not seem to have impressed her. I think we got this information from the well-dressed dude outside. What do you sell? Kind of depends on who's buying. For you, mm, leather goods. Protective gear, armor, 
Up to you if you want to deflect stabbings or look like a badass. Both, Either way, preferably. I have you covered. Let me see your wares. That's why I'm here. All right, so a bunch of gear. Just looking at things that we haven't really seen before. Personnel drive. This is armor mods for leg armor. Armor mod. Phase temper controller. Gives a ton of resistances. Once wired to the armor, the controller can cycle phases to counteract environmental effects. Only a trade-off of four armor. It's pretty nice, actually. 142. Kind of expensive, but we don't have the modern requirement to do it anyway. Um, I was hoping that we might have a place to change here, but it doesn't look like that's happening. Let's talk to Paris Handler. <gasps> oh, VR these are devices. But oh, this small. is Core X. Oh, this is... Okay. Oh, this is going to be sick. We've got like an old arcade, a broken slicer dicer. We've run into one of those before. Wasn't so broken. Thanks again for your help. Yeah. People love my dies. Remember, she was the one out in Could the uh, go pump in the night. thing that she would Jeez, vouch for us. That was scary. Look at this. Memoriam for the man who fought for the little guy. Last known copy of Wasteland 4. The cover is signed with the initials BF. Cool. So is that confirmation, Wasteland 4? The Mighty Mitt used high-tech sensors to give ultra-dimensional control to those brave enough to enter the virtual world. This display contains an energy weapon that has been fitted with a highly sophisticated pre-war scope. It looks masterfully crafted and carefully maintained. Ooh. Let's inspect the case. Small plaque beside the case reads Zap Pow, accurate to a single pixel. Never miss when using the Megascope. The glass case does not appear to be locked. So oh, that's that's a trap. It's gotta be a trap, right? For the war, people use these to ride ocean ways, probably for transportation. Was that a surfboard? Yeah. Drone. Storage unit 105. Okay. So some of these storage units, we have a key for like 109, I believe. Hmm. Dream vacuum. An old an old Dyson. Three settings, Lucid Bathroom and Nightmare. And then a Quarex tape. True accounts of Quarex's grand journeys. Probably want to talk to them after. Ride today. Found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder, and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's cold and kind of scary, but there's treasure here, too. That guy with the rat jerky, he had like six or seven 3DO cartridges just lying around a shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Practically gave them away. You know what? Leaving Arizona might be the best thing that ever happened to me. This throne was once coveted by many, as whoever would sit on it, would sit upon it, would be king of the wasteland. Okay, let's talk. Let's 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 talk to Corex here first before we start messing with everything else. Oh, wow. Are you rangers? You're damn right. I haven't seen any of you guys since I left. Uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any rangers in a while. Since you left what? Are you here to fight the monsters under the bazaar? That would be awesome. Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of, uh, coolness. W would you like a tour? Yeah. Really? Uh, okay. This way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Welcome to Quarex's Cabinet of Quabinet. Curiosities, a collection of the rarest of the... Well, it's toys and games mostly, and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. I believe you. That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., a fellow game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. In the end, though, a boss got him, and, and well, he didn't make it. I keep his hat around to remind me to be honest and decent like he was. It's probably a good idea. This was the best video game ever! <laughs> Wasteland Sick. 4! You can choose what color you want the screen to be, red or green. Pretty advanced. This is the most sought after gaming accessory ever made. The legendary Mighty Mitt. 
I love the Mighty Mitt. It's the, uh, so bad. Nintendo Power Glove. I don't know what this first reference is. This is a genuine megascope. The most advanced optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. Shame somebody stuck it on that silly old ray gun, but I'm not going to try to take it off. I might break it. What if I tried? I'm just worried. This if... is a Tarjan the Tenebrous machine. It can tell your fortune, but you get a premium fortune if you have some special tokens. Wish I had some. Oh, wait a sec. We have a Tarjan coin. This throne was once the most coveted object in the wasteland. The rule was whoever said right it was the king. How cool is that? King of what exactly? I don't know. I also don't know who made that rule. I can't remember where we got it, but remember we have a token. This is a slicer dicer, the scariest robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even makes julienne fries. Whatever those are. If this thing was working, we'd all be dead by now. You're mostly right. These are the most classic of classic arcade games. Avenue Brawlers, Cat Boy, and Star Intruder. This is Pac-Man. Defending this Earth against is a aliens. Uh, I don't Space know Invader. what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this Double looks dragon. well loved. It has property of MF on it. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it does. I don't think it does. This is the one that like kind of stands out and as doesn't really it. fit. Let me know if you have any questions. You didn't talk about VR or anything. Hi Rangers, good to see you again. Uh, we got the tour, but we want to uh, talk. Sure. So your name is Corex. Didn't you live with the Topekans in Arizona? So this, I, I don't know. Maybe in Wasteland 2. I can't remember if we ran into this guy or not, but I remember the Topekans. You must be thinking about someone else. Quarex is a more common name than you might think, you know. Anyway, not me. Nope. It's him. You're sweating a lot there, Quarex. Oh, well, haven't you heard? Scientists say sweating is a sign of truthfulness. I, uh, okay, Ugh. fine. I'm Quarex from Rail Nomads. Happy now? Yep. Kind of cool you guys have heard of me. Nobody knows about me. Why'd you come to Colorado? Well, basically, everything went downhill after Ranger Team Echo found that 3DO for me. Some shady guys started coming around asking me to sell it to them. And when I said no, well, they didn't like that at all. I was going to call the Rangers since you'd all been so nice to me. But then Ranger Citadel blew up, so I left. Had to leave all my cool stuff behind, even the 3DO. Sad. But there's lots of cool stuff around here, too, and I've been finding it. And that's how I started my museum. So if you were on the run from shady characters, why wouldn't you change your very specific, not popular name? Oh, I did. I just always forgot to say it. I'm supposed to say my name's Dave, but yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, anything you could tell us about this place? It's great. There's so much cool stuff at all the merchant stalls. I add to my collection all the time. Uh, some spooky stuff has been happening lately, though. Monsters are coming up from the tunnels at night to snatch people. It's like Chud in real life. What's Chud? Bye, Rangers. Thanks for visiting me. Okay. Uh, so we got a, a nice little perception check there that blasted us into level nine. Um, I think we focus on weapon modding here pretty soon. Like we're going to have to really hold our points before doing anything. Let's do that. And then what do we want to do next? Coordination. The awareness is pretty nice. We might as well just finish it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I wouldn't get an extra skill point until I do two of these. Let's just do that one. Okay. Now we got to check out all this other cool stuff. Like this computer. A lovely, a lovingly rendered scene of the Scottish Highlands flickers in 16 pixelated colors on the screen of the computer. A polyphonic chorus of beeps forms into a Gaelic tune as you read the title of the game, A Bard's Tale 4, Barrows Deep. Very nice. Play the damn game. 
You encounter fiendish cultists, solve devious puzzles, and compose magical songs, but one challenge defeats you. The game ends with an epithet. You've been killed by 99 berserkers. Sad. It's a sad day. What about VR? The VR device is bulky, cumbersome conglomeration of thick wires and dented shapes. Let's go in. Almost doesn't quite fit right. Sloped and slouches across your face, putting the ailments of your nose at risk. Text starts scrolling across the darkness, banning your eyes. Ooh. Let's go... Hiking trail. Camera sweeps around and behind the security checkpoint, there's... There, it moves up along an innocuous trail, the path nearly hidden in snow. You move across it. The trail starts to waver under your feet. A signpost points up to the surface. It reads error. How about entrance? The display stutters and then moves sluggishly at first. The camera pans across a large entrance carved into a mountainside. Tunnels blanketed in complete darkness after a few moments of feed cuts. Checkpoint Alpha. Camera moves along a road toward a military checkpoint. Camouflage figures stand there with their backs to you. They turn to you, but their faces are cloaking in shadows. Their forms dissolve into polygons before the word rebooting flashes twice. Command. Camera blinks into a room filled with high-tech with high-tech equipment. Every single screen reads a strange game in blinking letters. Figures move in the shadows, turning towards you. One by one, the screen turns to error, error. You are an unauthorized user. An alarm blares and the feed cuts out. Read the error log. Dear user, please be informed this VR headset is designed to be used only in the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. Usage outside of the Cheyenne Mountain Complex will activate security measures that may show up as content glitches. That was helpful. Move the helmet and blink against the glare of the world. Uh, weird. Check the slicer dicer. A robot slumps in place, eaten by rust, almost lifeless, save for the faint pinpoint glow of his pupils. Oh my god. Hey, you functional? <laughs> it clacks in reply, an uneven staccato noise, its head twitching with a clockwork bird, uh, like a clockwork bird that has forgotten the la trick of realism. A hiss of black smoke unravels from the paneling of its throat. Let's fix it. Slicer dice or self-assembler. Sick. For a moment, the machine comes to a mockery of staggering life, hissing, rusted pistons creaking with its carapace. Then it sags back on its pedestal, clearly beyond salvaging. However, it did shift slightly, allowing you a closer look at its parts. Learn what you can from its carapace. An inscription on the back of the robot reveals its serial number and place of origin. The slicer dicer came all the way from Arizona. You also find some words scratched into robot's chassis, possibly by one of its own blades. Cochise is dead. I am free. So that's related to the previous game, right? Uh, Cochise. Inspect the machine's legs. The limbs are a madness of gunshot wounds and blunt trauma. Evidence, perhaps, of encounters with raiders and whatever else haunts the wastelands. Kick it. Machine scissors forward and at the blow. Sudden and savage. Shoulders rolling. Somewhere in the circuitry of its brain, it probably still believes it has arms and blades. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. And then lastly, let's see what this Tarjan coin will do. Inside his glass confinement, Tarjan bears his rictus grin to the world, and I cracked the other throbbing like a flesh wound. There's a conspicuous red button. Beside it are the words, press here to receive fortune. Insert Tarjan token first. Yes. Actually, let's just press the button and see what happens. Tarjan remains a stoic as you hear a shrill grinding sound. A tiny scrap of paper stamped with irregular writing emerges from the slot. In 20 years, America will be nothing but dust, and its mountains will echo with the screams of a thousand fallen soldiers. Oh, lovely. Let's insert a Tarzan token. He doesn't move, but something about him feels more alive. You feel a tingle on the back of your neck as a note emerges from the slot below his torso, inscribed with calligraphic... Uh, calligraphic writing. Magic fingers. The five finger discount can cost all five fingers. Limit yourself to three fingers. A little finesse with merchants. Care of Tarzan. Oh, cool. That's really neat. Okay, how much trouble are we going to get into if we try and steal this thing? Megascope. Well, that wasn't too hard, was it? Where's my Megascope? Doesn't, thought it might be a mod. It didn't even show up here as like a new item. 
So... Megascope? What the frick? Where's the Megascope, team? Anybody see it? Megascope. Oh, sick. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's sick. Now, this does use energy cells. Range of 23. It's, uh... It's actually... Okay, so it's actually less damage. But the fact that it uses energy cells, uh, these ignore armor, right? So this one that we have has a penetration of 19, which is actually still super good. But it might be a really nice uh, secondary weapon here. Uh, and that kind of is encouraging me to maybe grab another point in sniper rifles at the next upgrade. Um, lock picking is already getting super high. We don't have a lock picking book, would be, which would be quite helpful, but either way. Okay, good chatting with you. Let's see what else is going on here. There's some kind of giant three headed dog down there. Down there. So the exit that I saw was over here. Yeah, Warren. So that's correct. Uh, we've been here for hours. Oh, my feet are killing you me. You hear the stories Come about on. the kid? Oh, oh here's like? Chick Flick. Come. Come to Adelon. Well, look at where Polly goes. <laughs> right on stage. Wouldn't expect anything less, to be honest. Fox chitters softly and he looks up at you. Didn't mean didn't mean to talk to you, but that's fine. We'll scratch you. This woman's shockingly purple hair and ridiculously voluptuous form makes her stand out from the average wastelander. She looks like she dropped in from a different time and place. Hey there, Eidolon. You look better every time I see you. How's show business? Notice how Marshall Kwan knows everybody at every brothel? Ah, Marshall Kwan. As charming as ever. And you brought your most beautiful friends to Eidolon's Chick Slicks Theater, I see. Aren't you all a sight for sore eyes, honey lips? So, uh, you, might, you must show movies here. Movies? Oh, no, sweetheart. Uh -huh. We deal in real flesh and blood shows. Ah, sugar plums. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, I'm so happy you walked into mine. You look like strapping, helpful hunks. Wouldn't you love to help out our little Adelon? What do you need? Oh, my heroes. So here's the rub. The Chicks Flicks theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. But we are running low on material. I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star. But we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. I'll do it for free. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. Uh, well, maybe there's pay involved, right? In any currency you want, baby. Monetary and otherwise, trust me. Totally in. Where would we get fresh material? I know where to find some old movie reels. We've got good tech in here. So between some creative editing and a little bit of improvisation, I can produce our next masterpiece. Okay, where do we find these? So it's easy cool. as a slice of apple pie. The monster army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. Apparently their monster outfits were inspired by the movies they watched in there. Says this would give us a guitar ornament. Now, I've been thinking, you remember that busker that we had? I've actually been thinking about that song that he sang a lot. Uh, and it was weird because he would sing the song without the guitar. And seemingly it sounded like there should have been a guitar part in there. But he would sing the song and like wait for the guitar player to play and then sing the rest of the song. I'm wondering if we can equip that guy with a guitar at some point And... Uh, and maybe he can, like, sing the true song. The bunker has been abandoned for years and years. So it should be simple. 
And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good luck out there, sweeties. Can we ask you some questions? Anytime, gorgeous. So... Uh, what can you tell us about the bazaar? The bazaar? Hmm, well, you can get some good eats here. If you like pork. Flap's a bit of a softy, but he knows the value of money. That'll keep the gears greased. Not to mention my performers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about your performers. They're fantastic. Gorgeous people. Talented. Double jointed. Incredibly flexible. Incredibly. Trust me, I sampled each of them myself. That's not weird. What is this operation exactly? This is Chicks Flicks, where nothing is sacred and everything's for adaptation. We take the fantasies of pre-war films by adding some missing venereal elements. The little extra sexy sauce leaves our customers extra satisfied. Well, that's cool. Yes, please. Let's keep talking, gorgeous. Goodbye. Come back See you later. again soon. All right. So she wants us to, to find the old Monster Army bunker. Uh, does, do we have any idea where that is? Fresh content. Well, this is about an old Monster Army bunker that was abandoned years ago. She believes we can find the old film reels, reels the gang used to watch there. If we can find them, she can use them as a basis for new shows. Right. Oh, who's this guy? This guy's got a name. We'd have to sign on with the caravan. Gilded Bert. All right, I think we've talked to like. Everybody, oh, Sometimes we've got these guys here at the, this little bar. Blood. I can't send hot noodles. Up, Fredelia Jones, Long John, quit. Mm -hmm. Randy Get. As you approach this man's eyes, flit over every member of your team as if assessing whether or not you're a direct threat. He relaxes after a moment and touches the brim of his hat with a slight nod. Howdy, ma'am. Oh, he nods at Lucia. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. Hey, listen. Uh, okay, cool. So maybe he's like one of the caravanners. There's a group of refugees topside you need transport to Colorado Springs. I uh, see. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. 300 bucks? A normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. Oh. <laughs> listen, Jones, these aren't just goods we're talking about. These people are starving. Surely you can take them for free. Okay, okay. I hear you. No Kiss need ass, to make baby. a man feel bad about trying to earn a living. All right, I'll make sure they're in my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send people to check on them now. That was great. Do you sell stuff? Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe. But still, lots of people need help getting around, especially if you want to range further than that. Anything you can tell us about Colorado? Thanks to the Patriarch, this stretch of land from Denver in the north to Steeltown in the south is pretty safe to travel. You'll find richer opportunities the further you venture out, but it'll also come with more risks. Eridolia Jones. What I a could name. tell you more, but truth be told, the only way to know the land is to travel it. You look well equipped and competent. Just head out and see what you can learn. Cool. That actually worked out fantastically. Have a talk with Mama Cotter in downtown Colorado Springs. So she was the one. You remember we found that group up at the campfire. We talked to them and they, they, they were there. They were like, if you want to talk to somebody, talk to Mama Cotter. We're like, okay, fine. But then uh, she didn't have really much to say. So that's cool. When we're back there, we'll... Uh, We'll talk to her. No problem. Who's Long John? For all that it might be swaddled in dirty, mismatched fabric, the figure is clearly anything but human. As you approach, she straightens 
It straightens with a creak of rusted gears and presses a palm to the Nixon mask over its face. As I live and eat cherry pie, more of my fellow humans in the bazaar. My fellow humans. You make yourself welcome now, you hear? He scratches behind his masked plastic ear. His shirt lifts to reveal a coil device on his chest, an impressive looking piece of tech. Fellow humans? Yeah, uh... So are you trying to pretend you're not a synth? Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle, just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. Technicolor dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Since don't do that. Well, we still think you're a synth. I'm not a synth. Well, just last night, I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and brash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. Yeah, you couldn't totally make that up I or anything. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Right. Look... We can see the strings, and we know that's a mask. Oh, you kids and your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, would they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> All right, fine. I am a synth. No. But you can't tell anyone. I can't believe you are a synth. Wow. Listen, uh, you th everybody already knows, dude. It's Do obvious. they? Well, I'm not sure I believe that. If they knew, wouldn't they have melted me down to scrap by now? People don't like synths, as far as I've seen. I personally don't have a problem. You're clever ones, and bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. So, can you tell us about the people in the bazaar? Some of it is real private, and some of it probably should be. But you young whippersnappers tell everyone everything. Like Paradolia Jones? He's probably the best damn caravan master in the bazaar. Just learn that. But his business would be better if he knew how to keep his mouth shut. Between you and me, if I was afraid of ducks, I wouldn't tell a soul. And can you tell us about yourself? Well, gosh, and apple pies, you put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar, just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Wasn't something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all. There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar, and they know me. Cool story, Long John. Cool story. We don't need to... Well, okay. Because what if it leads to something? Tell me about your troubles. I'll tell you youngins what I can. Despite the fact I'm old as the mountains, figuratively speaking, that is... Humans rarely live past 70, and I'm just about ready to expire. <laughs> I don't know everything, you hear? Even though I walked all the way from Denver to Steeltown and back again. The Nixon mask too with, like, exaggerated nose? That's good. Uh, whoa. Have you ever been to the Plains? Nuh-uh. Place like that ain't fit for the lonely traveler. Well, you might be all right. If you do decide to go in that direction, I've heard that it's gotten real dangerous. Okay, well, uh, it's been real, Long so John. So soon? I suppose even good things gotta end sometime. You be safe now, you hear? And come back to see old Long John when you can. Sounds Best good. Best of luck to you. And then we had another guy over here, Randy. <laughs> I'll tell you in the quick. Dr. Colcox can jump. This young redhead man is decked out with tools ready for work. He turns to you, not pausing his fervent chewing. Hey, strangers. 
I don't suppose you're here to help with the troubles down below. I am. If you are, talk to Flab. But if you want to talk cars, I'm your guy. Randy's the name, local master mechanic. What can you tell me about the troubles of the bazaar? Nothing much, really. Something's been prowling the Warrens, killing anyone who goes down there. Some big beastie, you know. The suicide pig's got something to do with it, but I don't know what. Sorry, not much help, I know. You like working here? Not particularly. It's boring work. I only get pulled in if something breaks that a tender can't fix, so I spend most of my time just waiting here, like I'm doing now. But beggars can't be choosers. Uh, well, we already have mechanics, but maybe we can just get more. Would you be interested in a job as a mechanic at Ranger HQ? No offense, but you're a gamble in a hard luck casino. <laughs> Don't like working in the bazaar, Ouch. but it's constant money, and I need that right now. See? Some months ago, my dad wrote me that he thought he'd seen folks skulking around our homestead. I dismissed it. Our place has always been isolated and safe. Stupid. Turns out it was a small band of one of them crazy planes gangs. They sent me a letter. Oh, cool. My parents are dead, and they're holding my kid brother and sister hostage. I ain't even close to having enough money to pay the ransom. Even if I did, I suspect they'd just kill us all after I pay. So what's a guy to do? Well, we could get your family. You mean get them, get them? Hmm. I don't normally condone violence, but if it's what it takes, let me show you where to find our old homestead. I'll meet you there. You help out the get family and I'll work for you. No doubt about it. Cool. Yeah, See you there. I don't mind doing that. But don't take too long, okay? Okay. Last thing we'll do here, uh, we have these two guys, but we can talk to them later. It looks like this guy probably sells food. This guy probably sells drinks and drugs, maybe. Beer nuts. Restore 10 constitution. Eternity tarts and Snickers. I love it. You love to see it. Okay, let's take a break here. When we come back, uh, we're going to head into the war. And sounds like there's going to be like something big down there, which I'm personally looking forward to. Should be fun. Uh, we'll see you then, guys. Bye for now. Hope you liked everybody at the bazaar.